People talk about South Armagh all the time, whether it's they do articles on it, people who don't really know South Armagh, or they do programmes on it, and I used to hear them talking about Bond County all the time, you know. And my experience, I'm a city slicker, I'm from Belfast, I escaped from jail in 1983 in September, and uh, I went down to South Armagh, and I have to say my experience is entirely uh, different. The only bandits I seen there were actually the British soldiers, the helicopters, going about in helicopters and uniforms and all of that. The people and the countryside was absolutely brilliant. Uh, they took me in, they did everything uh, for me, they took care of me, protected me. Uh, anybody I ever met in South Armagh who was local to South Armagh were certainly very, uh, very kind people. And Although I was there, initially at least uh, in the winter, uh, the place is absolutely beautiful. You know, whether you're talking about small areas like the Craigan or Kildare, or you're talking about Cross McGlen or Collyhanna, or whatever you're talking about, you know, there's, there's, it's just a different view every day. And I, we were on the run, obviously, we used to get up very early in the morning and all of that. So to talk about all these, I mean, I knew some of the people that were there. I knew volunteers that were running about at the time. I knew the two Brandons, Brandon Moley and uh, Brandon Burns the best uh, people you could meet. Uh, people who, you know, could have done something else with their legs, but what did they do? They did what they thought was best for the people in that area, and indeed uh, outside uh, South Armagh for the, the people of Ireland. They were good, brave people. That's what they were. And um, when you hear people talking about South Armagh, well, what you should do is go down. Go down and have a look at it. The scenery is Saginaw, it's absolutely beautiful. And talk to the people. Going out of the pubs, going out of the houses, people are very open, uh, very welcoming. Uh, they ended up in a struggle that uh, they didn't choose, um, but when the challenge came to them, they were ordinary people uh, doing uh, ordinary things. But when an extraordinary circumstance arrived, then they took up that challenge and they became extraordinary people. I suppose in a way that's the best way to sum up uh, the people of South Armagh. They're ordinary people, but they're extraordinary.